Hello and welcome once again to The Old Man Speaks. It seems to me that you never know who you might connect with at any given time or place. John was a corporate accountant who worked for a well-respected and active firm. That meant travel, presenting data and findings to corporate management groups while analyzing and advising. The preparation time for this is exhaustive. He sometimes works into the night, on weekends, and even into holidays just preparing reports and lectures for corporate meetings. This leaves him very little time for many of the niceties that other people take for granted. Well, it was time to get back on an airplane again, New York to Los Angeles, and to wherever it is they take him from there this time. As John plopped into his aisle seat, he barely notices the lady sitting next to him by the window, but he gives a polite hello grunt, which is exchanged by a weak attempt at a half smile. As the plane is still boarding, John got busy looking at some reports when a young man comes over to his seat. You think I might be able to get an autograph? This was obviously not meant for him, but meant for the attractive lady sitting next to him. A disturbing look of disruption comes over the lady's face and she says, Oh, and she reaches for whatever it was she was handed, writes with the pen provided, and hands it all back to the man. Thank you so much. I love your music. A slightly better attempt at a half smile was achieved this time. After a while, the lady says, well, I guess I could have been more friendly and thankful to him. After a bit of silence, John says, well, I guess you've had uh, like some sort of success in what you do. Eh, enough where people recognize me sometimes. I've had some minor successes and was on TV a couple of times, but I've been performing for a long time and I love the music and the gigs, but I get tired. I do get tired. John rarely talks to anyone on these trips, but since the conversation had already been started, off he went, and so did the airplane. He starts to talk. I went into accounting because I love working with numbers and all of the analysis that goes with that work, that's what I love to do. But I find I'm presenting to these groups and dealing with the personalities of the people in these corporations, and I guess that goes with the territory, but it's not what I signed up for. I get tired, too. I'm usually a real quiet, non-confrontational introverted guy. Always the cool, level-headed guy in the room. Last year, one day, I just lost it. So it's L.A., it's 110 degrees, and I'm outside the terminal. I'm waiting for this group to pick me up. I loosen my tie, take off my jacket. It's hard to breathe. It never gets this hot in Long Island. They take me to the client, and some underling starts ragging me about the way I look. And I just went nuts. I started yelling and cursing at him, out of control. And I'm thinking, who is this? I don't recognize myself or this behavior. Anyway, calls were made and everything was smoothed out. I guess I'm important enough to them where I can get away with it. John gives a small laugh. The lady tries to talk, but instead starts to weep. John felt really bad. He was going to apologize, but instinctively realized that he had said something very similar to what she needed to express. They sat quietly for a long time in no particular destination, just somewhere up in the sky, somewhere in a journey. That's where they had to be right now. As they get ready to land, the lady smiles and says, it's really okay, it's all worth it to be able to do what I need to do. The tears dried and the makeup was fixed. The flight was over. Thank you, whatever your name is. John tried to find words, but could only attempt a half smile 
and not. They still don't know who each other was and never saw each other again. But they both do think about this encounter when they need to.